Happy day three of Vleek. We still haven't found a better name um, than Vleek, but we're moving and grieving. I'm just about to make myself some breakfast, which I'm very excited for because I came across this recipe the other day for these banana oat pancakes. And normally I'm not a big lover of like banana oat pancakes. I've tried a few in my time that haven't been good. However, this recipe was really freaking good. Um, and what I like is I don't have to crack out the whole blender for it. I just use my little immersion blender um, and I put everything in this little jug and I'm just gonna do that for my brekkie this morning. But anyway, how are you guys? What's crick crack cracking around? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, really um, fun because yesterday was mine and Mr. Crack's 10 month anniversary. And that has just gone so flipping quickly. You know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. They really do. Oh no, that's not the cereal box that I wanted. I wanted a different one. My, that's what I was saying about my little niece. Like she's already seven weeks old. And I just don't understand where that time has gone. It's absolutely bonkers. Anyway. I'm gonna blend up. First I do the banana because I just like that to be super fine. It says to blend it all in a blender at once, but I found in my personal experience with doing that and these sorts of recipes, then you don't get a really nice texture. I like it when you can't even te texturally feel the oats. See, these filled me up so flipping much the other day. I could not believe it. I can't remember if I put vanilla in or not. Let's put another little bit in because hey, there's no such thing as too much vanilla. Although there actually is. And then we're gonna go for our oats. We need, I always have to convert the cups. Cause you know I hate a cup measurement. The final, final, final step of this is baking powder. You don't wanna put your baking powder in too early because then, I don't know, I've just found that it really changes the texture. So I have my baking powder last. Sometimes I don't even blend it in because I do just feel like it really, affects the texture so I just go and chuck that in there. I'm gonna just cook them up. You know what's gonna happen though basically I'm having to wait in today because we have a little furry friend that we need pest control for and oh I literally hate it so much I'm not even dwelling on it because I hate it so flipping much but I have to stay in because they've given us you know when they give you a window of time and they're like yeah we'll come between eight and five um, so I need to be in the whole day. Okay, fine, cool. And you know, I just would love a, surely they're gonna know at some point when they're here, but okay, anyway, I'm just gonna cook these guys. I need to get my toppings. This drizzly peanut butter is the best invention for if you have peanut butter on your porridge or like if you're having an apple, you just drizzle it or peanut butter, like so many things. And I just drizzle this over the pancakes, peanut butter. And it's just 100% peanut butter. Hasn't got anything else in it. Just 100% roasted peanuts. And I add some dark chocolate chips, offs. Just cooking these suckers up. I do feel like now I'm, you know, making myself a nice flipping brekkie. I feel like they're gonna arrive. I may have burnt them a little bit and there's so many under there. But what I like to do is I like to have one with the peanut butter and then I re <laughs> reapply my peanut butter once I've had some. Oh, they are really good. Mm -mm. Even when they're burnt. What we're actually gonna to do today is I'm gonna to declutter. Seeing as I'm home, you know when you move in somewhere and you're like, oh, pff, I'll just put that there for now. Nearly a year later, you still have those things in the same exact place. So I'm gonna declutter. I'm just gonna do it. And it always feels so good once you've done it. I'm gonna start. I don't even know I wanna show you this because it's so embarrassing. The, I guess you could call it the Harry Potter closet. I've never actually seen Harry Potter, but I do know that he has a closet. I believe he has a cupboard under the stairs. Um, so I'm gonna sort through this. I, my one thing that I will stand by um, from Costco is I will always get the toilet rolls from Costco because I hate having to go to the supermarket and getting toilet rolls. Don't know why, I find it a little bit embarrassing. Also, I just hate it. I hate when like the thought of running out of toilet roll and being like, ah, sticky situation, literally. So anyway, I'm gonna tackle under here first. What have we got? What have we got? Now, I didn't love the Ninja Ice Creamy. I didn't get on with it personally. So I think I'm gonna give that away to someone. And um, I just put a message on a chat thing and someone has already claimed it within two minutes of me putting it up. So I'm giving that away because I just don't, 
it doesn't get the use that I could give it, you know? The cupboard doesn't look much better, <laughs> but I've taken stuff out of other cupboards and put it in here. And it's basically now just luggage, toilet rolls and bedding. So I'm very, very happy with that. Feels like I feel lighter about it. And this is really sad because this is some of my stuff from uni, but I don't need it anymore. Um, and I've taken out the bits that I think friends or family will want. And this is just like the little case that I used to take, but I'm gonna take it to the charity shop because I feel like it could be handy. I'm gonna clean it up a bit. Take it to the charity shop and hopefully someone will want it. I don't know. I also have like, <laughs> oh gosh, it's chaos everywhere. It is chaos everywhere. But I've also been tackling these drawers, as you can see, because these need a little organizer as well as well. Feels so good when you tackle the drawers that you have been bothering you for so long. This storage drawer doesn't look super organized, but Tupperware. I really would have thought that in the 21st century, there would be a better solution to Tupperware. Why is it so hard to store? And also the lids, I just feel like, I feel like someone needs to make an, a better solution to Tupperware because Quite frankly, it sucks. We've gotten to the point where it's worse before it gets better. And there are there are, there are things everywhere, but um, I'm feeling good because I know how good I'll feel when it's all done. I mean, you don't know what the kitchen looked like before. Well, actually you remember there was stuff up here, there was stuff up there and I've managed to find space for everything. Everything just looks so much better. All of my like, back stock in here and cleaning supplies and I just feel like even on the work surfaces I've tried to move stuff away because I think that's sometimes why I really struggle with this kitchen because it just feels like everything's on top of me um but I'm feeling a lot better after I clear up so I'm gonna work on the bathroom cabinets now the bathroom drawers are really quite chaotic real chaotic does anyone else afford <laughs> I feel like I'm a little sanitary towel hoarder and I don't know why. I don't know, I feel like it's like the toilet roll thing. I just never want to be caught in a moment where I'm without. So anyway, I love this. Hey, scoop. I'm gonna do these. Oh, there's so much stuff. Yes, we had the call that the man is on the way to do with the pests. And also please can someone remind me that I do not need to buy tampons for a while. I have so many and I've crammed them in there. There were about five boxes. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, I'm feeling so good after cleaning out that one. He was so nice. Um, and I feel so much better after having an expert in. You know what, like you sometimes you just have to pay for the price. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, um, I am now gonna go to Waitrose and pick up a very exciting order. Basically, a long time ago, I got a shark vacuum and we got, um, we got it with our vouchers that we got from our wedding. However, it broke within like the first two months. Um, so we've just been using like the one that my husband had already, but I really want a cordless vacuum because it's really hard to like maneuver the one that he has into like all the little nooks and crannies. So I, I go on after it and I thought, you know what? The one that we got from Shark, I got all the money back from that. And then I thought, <laughs> treat yourself to the rest. I thought that the amount of value that that Hoover's gonna bring to my life <laughs> is amazing. So I went and I bought one and I'm so excited to go and pick it up. Ah, let's go. I am so excited for this. It's actually a joke. I am so freaking pumped from a little cordless vac, baby. I don't even know how to get into it. I have wanted one of these for literal years. Like, I cannot explain how excited I am. I can't get in. Let me in. So I hate this. I hate this part, having to put things together. Good evening, it's a bit later now. Um, and I made a banging pasta for dinner, didn't it I? It was so good, restaurant quality. Tansy. Easy. It was the M the Nutritionist um, spicy prawn pasta. But basically I completely changed the recipe because I didn't have tomato paste. So I added more cherry tomatoes. I didn't have lots of the things that the recipe had. And I added broccoli 
and I added more creme fraiche and more parmesan because otherwise it wouldn't have been so quite so tasty. And we're just nestling down for a little bit of TV. And I'm gonna try, you saw the other day I got this chocolate mousse cake. Wow, that looks like a picture. Well, <laughs> it is a picture, but it looks like... Um, From an advert. Yeah, it really did. Oh, that's not what I thought, it's just a cake. I thought it was going to be moussey. It's a moussey cake. Where's the mousse? Well, it's the Show me the mousse. It's the crumb structure. How did your bottom fall off then? There's a funny taste. Mine didn't. It's because it's mousse. <laughs> there is a mousse. Mousse. About this mousse. That's my dad's favourite little... <laughs> whenever someone says the word mousse. I feel like something in the fridge has infected it. That's not for me, my sweetheart. Do you want to eat that? <laughs> Yeah, just pop it down, man. I'll come. I'll get to it in a minute. I don't think it's. I think it's not a moose problem. Also, Mr. Grack wants to watch something on telly that is mm. boring. So I might go and have a bath. It's not boring. It's, it's the new it's shark. Boring. Leg. I've also bruised my leg or something. Gosh, I really need to shake my legs, don't I? No comment. <laughs> We've gone past the point of stubble to full on. Yes. You know what I'm gonna have? This is quite fun. Hang on. Some extra cream, custard cream. Oh wow. Extra cream bourbon cream. But wait, wait, wait. Some spoons out of there. Milk chocolate custard cream and a milk chocolate bourbon cream. Mmm. Interesting. Right? I'm gonna try one of the Isn't that slightly heretical? Why? I don't know. They're like <gasps> I'm so excited for this. Very mixed reviews online. Oh, good snap. It's just quite like a chocolate biscuit. Oh. Is it like... Their the... chocolate is good though, isn't it? I mean, it's chocolate is I've good. I've always liked their extremely chocolatey chocolate biscuits. Mm. That is really nice, yeah. Isn't it? That's very pleasing. Should I try this? In my opinion, this probably would taste like penguin. Because yeah, that's what it... A... a bit penguiny. This does taste custard creamy. Which you expect, yeah. Hmm, underwhelming this one. I thought this would be really fun. I went on to ASOS, and as you know, our Christmas to Easter, I did no buying of anything, um, of any clothes, and I actually did it. I was very surprised. I actually thought that I would buy some things, but I've now kind of like looked at my wardrobe and I'm like, I don't like any of my clothes and I've just worn the same thing every day. As you've probably seen in these vlogs, I just wear the same jumpers all the freaking time and I'm bored of them. And I thought it'd be fun to do, um, let ASOS pick the clothes I'm gonna wear. And they have this section, which is like the just for you section where they say based on like your previous orders and stuff, things that they think you'll like. So I did, I ordered a few bits and I thought I would show you what they picked out for me. Um, oh, they're quite a lot in here, this is so exciting. So up first we have this little crochet blue jumper, which 100%, I would have picked this out. I like this. It's like a little crochet moment. What's this? Oh, this looks like a bit of me. Cardigan with the little black bows. Oh, that's so cute, what the heck? That is again, a little bit of me. I feel like they're kind of hitting hitting a home run. What is this? Oh, wow. These are some grey wide legs. They actually feel really nice. They're like kind of, I don't know if you can see that, they're linen-y and they're very long because they're the tall section and they have a stretchy bit, which I always appreciate the stretch because I get quite bloated. I'm a bloated girly. Oh, they're nice. I, I rate those. Guys, ASOS. They know what they're doing. They really do. I think I might do a TikTok tomorrow where I try everything on. I love this. I am really a green girl. Mmm, with the little turtleneck. And I really want some new jumpers. ASOS have done really well. Well done you, you guys. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm having the best day. Heck, that's a really weird size. It's supposed to be like a black denim pinafore, but... That's not giving what I wanted it to give. That's the only one that I feel disappointed with. Although I haven't tried them all on. I feel like trying things on. I love these. They're little bows. How flipping you? Bow earrings, you know what? 
Why not? Tuck in. What do we think? Are they cute? Or are they silly? <laughs> I feel like for an afternoon tea or something. They're so dripping cute. I love those. Well, I'm absolutely chuffed with that. I'm now gonna run myself a nice little bath. And I have, I think I have two bath bombs left um, in my bath bomb selection. So we can have a little browse there. Right, I'm in the bathroom now. It's probably gonna be really loud because the sound quality on this camera is so different from my camera in these seven minutes. But I'm gonna go, obviously, after my little bathroom clean out. I know I have two bath bombs. <gasps> Do I want a bath bomb though? Hang on, let me show you what I've got. Options. The options are these magnesium sleep mineral bath plates to soothe tired and aching muscles. I feel like I'm gonna go for that because obviously I'm gonna go to two Pilates classes this week. Two, it's not one but two. Or I could use these two bath bombs. I have the donkey there and the um, I think it's the Lush Sex Bomb one. But I think I'm gonna go for the Magnesium Mineral Bath Flakes. Also because I've had chocolate quite late, which I don't like to do, it makes me really high up. So I'm gonna use the Bath Flakes, I think. Good morning, cherubs. You can tell when you've liked something from your haul when you've got it on the next day. I, <laughs> I really like this jumper. I'm just into green, you know. I'm keen and I'm green. I have woken up. There was the biggest storm I have ever witnessed in my whole entire life last night. Honestly, in my 26 years on this planet, I ain't ever heard a storm like that before. It was crazy, absolutely crazy. Oh, do you know how nice it is when you've done a declutter the day before? And then look, I've come into my little drawer and it's so much more organized. Flipping obsessed, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, I'm gonna get ready for the day now and I'm gonna actually take my hoover around. It's been charging all night and I'm really excited to test it out. I literally, it feels like the same excitement that I had when I was going to New York because you cannot understand how long I have been saving and waiting for this hoover. I cannot flipping wait. And oh, I just can't wait, I just can't wait, okay? I'm really mean to go to Alton Towers. Sorry, that was just a side to, oh, I'm really in the mood to go on a roller coaster. Really, like, ah, ah, ah. oh, get me on a roller coaster. Why have I not been on a roller coaster in years? When was the last time I went on a roller coaster? I mean, last year I did go to Brighton, I went on a roller coaster, but gosh, I haven't been on a roller coaster in goodness knows how long. Well, I'm sure I could work it out, but can I be bartered? No. I used to go to this thing every year with my uni called ABST, which is like a bakery competition. And it was at, oh no, it's gonna be, I think I'm a bit emotional. I think I'm a bit emotional about it. It was called ABST and it was like this baking competition and it was at Alton Towers and it was so much fun. If you're in the baking, like education, patisserie, whatever, whatever it is that you do, you have to go to this competition. It is so much fun. And it's just lovely to have like all of the baking world together in one place. And oh, it's just the best time. But you get free tickets to Alton Towers at the end. And I'd never been before. And it was just, it is so much better than Thought Park. Sorry. No, I don't know if I'm saying that because I've been to Thought Park on school trips all the time because I live in the south. I feel like if you live in the south, you go to, to Thorpe Park all the time or Chessington. But oh my gosh, like it, Alton Towers is a different breed. It's also got so much more space. The queues aren't as long as Thorpe Park. I feel like everyone just goes to Thorpe Park because it's in the south. So if you're like a tourist on holiday, you'll go to Thorpe Park because you come to London and then it's quicker to get to Thorpe Park. Honestly, it is, Alton Towers is up. Sorry, I don't know why I've gone on this tangent about Alton Towers. Also, I need to charge you and it's really annoying with this new camera. The way you charge is you have to plug into a USB port. However, on my old camera, there were little batteries. So I can't use you for the next, however long it takes to charge, and which is really annoying. <laughs> and I feel like a bit of a, a design flaw. You're all charged up and ready for the day now. I actually know this was a really chill one, um, so I hope you enjoyed. I'm about to go and drain buster the sink and the bath 
plug hole. Let me tell you, this my mum swore by, um, and it is the best unblocker of if you get like, you know, in the shower and the water starts to get a bit more by your ankles and it's a bit gross. This is the best thing. Like we've tested so many different things. Bear in mind, we used to have three girls in the house and we had long hair. Like there used to be a lot of crud in that, but this just works great. So I'm going to do that now. Um, and I will see you tomorrow for another vlog. I just also hoovered with the new Hoover and I can safely say, big fan, big, big fan. I definitely think it's better than the shark I have found. Um, it's got more suction, you know, it really sucks. And it also did the whole house on one charge, which was good. Oh my gosh, there's like five pigeons on the roof of that house. I'm loving, literally absolutely loving posting these vlogs to you and hope you're enjoying them. I will see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. for another one. So this is our third one. So tomorrow will be our fourth one. Why? That's great.